Hey, good morning. Tommy here from Alderman Farms. Good to see you so early in the morning on a Monday morning. I've only got a minute. Yeah, right, Tommy. You always say that and you end up being on 30 minutes. No, I really do. I only have a couple of minutes because uh, I got chores to do and then we have to load up and head to Louisiana to bring Patty's mom to the funeral of her um, sister-in-law, who was her best friend, who uh, died after... Uh, really a difficult time so uh, it's going to be a difficult day but i had a request for more chicken videos and so we had a big change this morning i figured i'd jump on right quick and let you see what we've done uh, we had to we had an overcrowded brooder cage you'll notice we got chicks of different sizes in here some of the chicks now look like chickens and i was a little nervous about adding these smaller chickens afraid that the bigger ones would just torture them but no big deal they acted kind of curious um, about the new chicks being added but there's been no carnage and you can see right there on the feeder we got big chicks and little chicks eating together in harmony and so uh, the big chicks you're looking at are mostly Delaware uh, among the smaller ones we've got Delaware we've got uh, sex links the darker ones that you're looking at are the uh, sex links which were a cross between delaware and a rhode island red rooster and uh, we got bealy felders in here you can see a couple of large bealy felders over there and don't ask me how many because i don't know but it ain't all of them folks the reason the, the the brooder cage we had the smaller chicks in was they were getting too big for it but also we needed the space because we've got more Beely Felder chicks that have hatched out and are in the incubator and we need to get them out of there uh, so that we can put them in the brooder cage and then we've got a whole I think a whole tray of turkey eggs which may start hatching today and so we need to move them down to the bottom of the incubator my goodness we have got feathers coming out of our ears boys and girls so anyway that's it um i, I think i'm going to set a record here and only be live for three minutes but somebody specifically requested a chicken update and here it is a chicken update so uh let's see right quick if i've got hey wendy one comment that's also a record thank you <laughs> so we oh let me show you something it's cold again at Alderman Forest. <laughs> it's not all that cold. It's in the 50s, but my ear gets to hurting if I, if it gets too cold, so I gotta wear my funny special hat. So anyway, see you guys. That doggone chick, chicken chick likes to get in the top of the feeder and scratch the feed. Isn't that funny? So we are we got chicks coming out of our ears at Alderman Farms. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you next time.